Joe Biden won the 2020 election. Wear a mask, get vaccinated, follow all your local health guidelines. With that out of the way, the Road to Liberty Conference. I want to talk about this because there's quite a few questionable things in this conference. For one, my big thing I want to go to right away is the Broward County Chamber of Commerce is funding it. I don't know if that's okay. Someone will have to tell me if that's okay. Another thing I want to talk about is their reasoning for this event. It is election integrity, history of socialism from Plato to present, history of the Constitution, how Christians need to lead the way to protect our Judeo-Christian values, development in vaccine and medical opinion of the effectiveness. That's the one that caught me off guard. Because look at the speakers. Who are they trying to get the medical perspective from? Is it Dr. Jane Ruby? Because I don't believe she's qualified. And I'm not the one saying that. Her degrees are the ones saying that. This is what I found in her degree. She's a highly educated person. She's a graduate of the University of Rochester, where she completed two doctoral degrees in education in psychology. So she doesn't have a doctorate in a medical field. Let's get that out of the way. She doesn't have a doctorate in a medical field. Further, she also has two master's degrees in nursing and international health economics which means she doesn't have any expertise in vaccinations. Yeah. That's, I believe that's who they're going to go for because she gets quoted a lot in right-wing media. But as far as I can tell, she does not have a doctorate in a medical field or medical knowledge and hasn't worked in a medical field at all in over a decade because she's just a political grifter. Additionally, she greatly contributed to her academic field, really, where she published various social issue books. Yeah, that's not uh, that's not her field, though. I guess psychology, not the health field that she claims to be in. And articles in global health economics. Economics, not actually global health. And contemporary media. I had to put that in there because uh, that's the one I'm like, wait a second. Are they really going with someone that you can just Google and see that they're not a medical doctor? They are. Again, they always are. Go check. They're either not a medical doctor or a disgraced medical doctor. Funny how that always works. That's all they can ever find. Beyond that, we also have uh, how we need to fight anti-Semitism and all religious persecution. Action plan for those who want to run for office. How to reverse the direction of our country. Identifying your role in our journey. Please pay us $125, but only if you do it by the 30th of July. And I haven't even opened this. This is their event page. Let's see what it says. Up to $300 for tickets. Glorious. And of course, their speakers are Greg Locke, Doug Billings, William uh, Federer, and on and on and on. Who you would expect. Um, I love how they put here, Dr. Jane Ruby, medical professional and pharmaceutical drug development expert. I can't find anything for that. Uh, I don't see she has the qualification to develop a drug. She has the qualifications to talk about the economics of developing the drug and how to sell it after. But as far as I can tell, she doesn't have the qualifications to develop a drug. So why is it? Why are they pretending she does here? Why is that the insinuation they're wanting? They're also calling her a medical professional. Which from what I can tell, most people would not consider what she has a medical professional knowledge. She's not that. She's not that. The average person. So, the Road to Liberty Conference, in my opinion, your average grift event. We're going to see it advertised, they're going to rake in a bunch of money, and then as soon as it, they're going to make a bunch of claims, it's going to happen, and then everyone's going to leave. It's going to be kind of like Mike Lindell's conference. They're like, well, that was junk. 